Jacqueline Kiyomi Gordon, It Only Happens All the Time, is the first in a series of exhibitions here at YBCA entitled Control, Technology and Culture. I thought she was especially strong as the first artist to launch the series with because of her interest in sound and architecture and also her particular interest in the history of cybernetic systems and feedback systems and how they're implemented in both design and architecture. Movement is so important to how and what we hear. Um, you know, we, we hear a sound and we will move towards that sound or um, we move into a sound and that, and that, and that it exists already. And so somehow within that movement, there's an exchange that happens that I'm really kind of trying to investigate with this piece and how that exchange between moving within the sound, moving within the sculpture, moving with someone else, um, kind of creates a, a, a form of intimacy. The difference between, you know, listening and seeing and hearing and, um, and all of those those elements, I think, could play, play into that kind of communication. A lot of the visual aesthetics for me do come from architecture. And then other, other materials that I use and forms are actually specific for an, a desired acoustic outcome. For my installations, usually the acoustics happen first because that's what I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with this one space. I'm dealing with this gallery or this room or then the acoustical properties that are in there. And being able to uh, use this new software and kind of model everything in another studio, you know, brought it in here, tweaking it, EQing it, and then seeing what happens is, uh, is something I was, I was wanting to play with. I came up here last month with some stuff and kind of placed it around and saw how it felt and then went back home, worked on it some more, came up here. And during the two weeks that I was here, um, pretty much went to that studio every night and worked on it and then brought it in to here and played with it and back and forth a lot. Listening can be a very intimate space. It can be an intimate space between people um, between objects, uh, between environments. Sound is really difficult because it just, sound just overwhelms, it just takes over. There is a saying of, you can close your eyes but you can't close your ears. That's a, that's a huge thing and, and we're subject to it I and mean, we are hearing stuff all the time. 